Hello, my name's Oliver. I'm responsible for driving dynamics development for the M3, M4 at MGMBH. The main aims in the driving dynamics development of the M3, M4 were raising the front axle grip, reducing the dynamic wheel load fluctuation, that means letting the wheel follow bumps in the road surface, and an increase in driving precision in general. Und eine Erhöhung der Fahrpräzision im Allgemeinen. Let's have a look at what technology we used for the M3, M4 to drive like it should. Right from the first glance under the bonnet of the new M3, M4, you can see an important part of the whole strut package. The engine strut package consists of the central dome ring of die-cast aluminium. This distributes the power coming from the wheel via the dome bulkhead strut towards the bulkhead, via the dome dome strut to the other dome and the dome front end strut to the front end. In the space available, steel is the material of choice. The connection of the upper level to the front axle subframe is provided by a V strut behind the radiator. And this is how the new M3 M4 looks from underneath. The front axle consists of an aluminium front axle subframe, aluminium wishbone and trailing arm, and an aluminium suspension strut. The front axle elastokinematics and kinematics newly developed for the M3 M4 front axle have the aim of creating a sensitive steering response, good surface feedback, and extremely high camber and camber stiffness. From the very beginning, the basic setup of the axle concept factored in the different sizes of front and back wheels. Raising the front axle grip means that even in fast bends, the front axle will unconditionally follow the driver's wishes. The all-stiffening shear plate stretches from in front of the front axle subframe to the rocker panels here and stiffens the front construction enormously. To understand how a shear plate works, we can compare it to a picture frame. A stable frame is reinforced by the canvas stretched over it. And here the shear plate directs the forces directed from the axle in the front axle subframe onto the stiff part of the car body. One important basic requirement for precise handling is chassis stiffness. The power introduced by the front axle should be passed on as quickly as possible to the rear axle to enable precise handling. For this reason, the front shear plate is extended to the rocker panels in a very stable area of the car body, which stretches from the front to the back, and then feeds the power here as quickly as precisely as possible into the rear axle via the underfloor strut. The rigidly fixed rear axle subframe is additionally supported via an aluminium underfloor bracing at the lower level. This distributes the power evenly within the back of the car from one rocker panel via the tunnel bridge to the other rocker panel and on to the rear axle subframe. The five-link rear axle was specifically developed for the M3 M4. It ensures precise wheel guidance and fast lateral force deployment. The rear axle consists of a steel axle subframe and five forged aluminium links on each side. With this solid stiffness package as a base, a suspension spring and stabilizer alignment could be achieved which provides excellent support even on difficult surfaces and ensures a low level of roll angle on the racetrack. Here we see the front axle shock absorber from the new M3 M4 and here the rear axle absorber. The adjustable dampers contain valves and have very sensitive response behavior. The damper tubes are made of aluminium so as to reduce the dynamic wheel load fluctuation via a low unsprung mass. Setting up the M3 M4 took place over numerous weeks on and around the Nürburgring Nordschleife. The aim was to combine maximum structural connection and low dynamic wheel load fluctuation. This is the front damper element of the new M3 M4. It consists of wire spring, damper and pivot bearing. This pivot bearing is of forged aluminium. The front brake caliper is attached to this stud. 
The adaptive M suspension in the M3, M4 has three settings. Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus. The M3, M4 always start in the Comfort damper mode. Comfort is conceived for all demands and surfaces other than racetracks and offers good everyday comfort combined with the M-typical driving behavior. Sport mode was created on the Nürburgring Nordschleife and offers maximum performance. Sport Plus mode is for flat racetracks like Hockenheim or Sachsenring. The outcome of all these measures is the typical M3-4 handling. Precision, track performance and everyday driving enjoyment to thrill and delight you.